Hey everybody, it's Haneke here and today I'm going to talk to you about merging items in your camps. So there's a few different methods of merging items. Today I'm going to talk about drop merging and float merging and the now defunct slide merging. Unfortunately that one's been patched so we can't use it anymore. So let's get started. So for drop merging there's two ways you can do it. One way is to use the pressure plate which is found under power connectors. So here I have placed together two items. I put the group of items on the pressure plate machine and to make it work you have to stand on the pressure plate machine till it makes a sort of a click noise. And once it makes a click noise you click on and off the bottom item and the top item will sink into it. So let's try it again on, on this other group. This time I'm going to put it in some sloping dirt. It's basically the same, you put it in the dirt, you click on and off it and the top item will sink into it. The difference between the dirt and the pressure plate is the the dirt, it's harder to control how far in the thing is going to sink. It depends on how slopey the dirt is. So for deep mergers, I like to drop it in the dirt to start with, but then for fine mergers, I like to put it on the pressure plate. Now we're going to talk about float merging. Float merging is basically the opposite of drop merging in that the item will go up instead of down. And the machine you use to do float merging is your camp machine, strangely enough. So first I'm going to line these up nicely. I'm going to go get my camp machine. And it's the same sort of thing. You just put it on the machine and click it. Click, click, click a few times and look it goes up in the air. Now sometimes it doesn't go up the same amount which I'm not sure why exactly it might be because I put it on a slightly different part of the camp machine. See there's one that's not quite lined up. This is enough to fix. You reverse the process by dropping it and then floating it again. Just take a little bit of fiddling around, but we'll get there eventually. Dropping it, floating it. And that'll do. We could be here all day otherwise. So now let's set it up over here. And they all click together. Look at that, it looks like a kitchen. Going to put some plants on it to make it pretty. Bellissimo. Now let's talk about slide merging. Slide merging used to be really handy for getting things into shelves and into display cases that weren't supposed to go in there and it was uh, done using mats. You would place things on the mats and then slide them into other things. Now I've been trying to do that today and it's just not happening so I'm pretty convinced that it was patched and it's gone and uh, that's it for slide merging. Okay so those are the two functioning and one no longer functioning versions of merging that I've got for you today. Just basic versions you should go out and practice them and you'll find that they're really very fun and handy in creating new and interesting things in your camps. So I hope you find that useful and I'd be really interested to see pictures of the things that cr you create. If you want to drop them into the comments below, I'd love to have a look. Alright, so that's it for me today. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. See you around Appalachia. This is Haneke signing out.